this mama ain't having any more babies. No, she's not. So I think the swelling took a little bit longer, especially on my right side. That's kind of where they tie it up. But, you know, I actually, I weighed, gosh, the other day, I got on a scale and I was 8 to 10 pounds away from pre-baby weight. So ever since Mateo arrived, I've been trying to be super mom, but lately I've been feeling more like super depressed. I could fight a lot of things mentally. I'm, I'm very strong in that way. Postpartum is knocked me on my ass. This is something that is way different. And men, if you are listening and you are with someone who is going through postpartum, like you have to be so sympathetic because you have no idea what these women are fighting inside. Brie, and I think Brie was the first person who's asked me in weeks. It was in front of Brian. She goes, how are you doing? And I was about to say fine, and my lips started shaking, and I burst into alligator tears. Like, I broke down because that was the first time someone asked me in a while how I was doing, and I wasn't doing okay. And I started to realize, like, I'm starting to fall into a postpartum depression. And I didn't realize, like, that week seven, you kind of come out of your baby blues. And like you said, Brie, you go two different paths. You go on the path of being healthy or you go on the path of being depressed. And that depression path can be a really dark, deep hole. I actually, I felt bad for Artem because it made him feel terrible. And then he's like, it's... I wish you came to me sooner because I could tell, like, he's like, I could tell at times, like, I felt like you were starting to hate me. He's like, you could be mean. And I'm not going to lie. I did have moments of being mean, but I did have moments mm -hmm. where I looked at him and I hated him. You kind of like trying to figure out where that feeling come from. You know what I mean? Because she obviously didn't hate you a month ago, a week ago, you know? So it definitely caused something for that to happen. So, and if you can figure it out what that really caused, you can avoid that hate. And I think that's what I'm trying to concentrate on as well at this time, you know, especially now when things are getting a little bit more real, 